Hi, I am Peter Shore. I'm a licensed massage therapist in West Virginia, and I love to solve pain problems, help posture, um, help people steer through illnesses, and basically be able to live fully, have their energies function in a way that they can manifest whatever they need to in whatever fields and purposes that they want to apply themselves to. Well, to sing, we have to use our body. So singing is a manifestation of bodily functions. It's taking breath and taking the breath through, vibrating it through the vocal folds and creating sound. So tension in the body can get in the way of that process and also improper breathing can get in the way of that process. And um, so to, for anybody to sing well, it really takes some somatic awareness. That's why Jeannie came up with somatic voice work, is that the body is a very important element in singing. Now for teachers, if their bodies aren't in good shape, then they're not gonna be able to, to teach well, to listen well. So anytime there's pain or dysfunction or energy not flowing well in the body, it decreases our ability to function. So body work can help move that flow of energy so that there's, we're at our full potential or closer to our full potential in either teaching or singing. Well, the, the main areas are the neck because most people have forward head posture because the shoulders curl forward. So when the shoulders curl forward, the head has to then tilt and that tightens the back of the head and that changes the dynamic of pressure on, on the vocal folds. And also the jaw gets out of alignment so that then affects how the tongue interacts with um, with, with singing and it can also cause things like headaches and all sorts of other pain kinds of problems. So, so forward head posture is really important. Diaphragm tension will prevent the, the use of the full ribs for breathing. So that's an area to be aware of. So those are the main ones for well, I started doing massage as a kid. I don't know if it was my dad or different people in the family liked to have massage. So it was always a hobby. And over the years, I, my, I was doing computer programming. I have a fine arts degree, but I, I got a job doing computer graphics and things and, and evolved into programming. My company moved, so it was a good reason to shift to doing something that I've always done as a hobby, as a career. And so that was in 2001, I was retrained into massage therapy. And I, I just love studying and I take what I knew intuitively with what I've learned with technical things and just combine it. So I've created my own kind of body work. Well, um, in bodywork practice, traditionally people play music, but um, I got tired of hearing the same things all the time, so I, I decided to download stuff that people created, and then I got tired of that, so I decided to just improvise my own stuff. So I've got over 200 hours of improvised, layered music, guitar and keyboards, and, and I just have it playing randomly, and it, it has the same energy that I try to put into the massage, which is basically creativity. So to me, it feels nice to be in my own, enveloped in my own music.